Aloha, it's Uncle Kimo here. Today we're gonna to talk about that whole stab in the dark works. Every year, stab asks some of the best surfboard shapers in the world to give us their version of what's a high performance shortboard. These fuckers, they don't even know who the mystery surfer is. <laughs> shapers are giving clues of height, weight, and length of boards and volume. Are you shapers invited to stab in the dark? Here's the rules. No markings, no signatures, no dimensions, and no fucking logos. No fee, no change, and may the best shaper win. Mahalo. On this episode, Wade Takoro, Matt Biolis, Eric Arakawa, Marcio Zuvi, and James Cheel. Teen romances rarely last, but Eric Arakawa and Jack Robinson's open relationship goes back more than a decade, when the then 13-year-old Jack wandered into Eric's shaping bay looking for boards for a pro junior at Sunset Beach. Jack went on to win the Sunset Pro Junior on Arakawa's, and more than 10 years later, qualified at the very same spot on the very same shaper's boards, putting in the highest scoring performance in Sunset history to win the event and join the 2021 World Championship Tour. From the North Shore of Oahu, Jack's longtime shaper and close friend, Eric Arakawa, and the new jackpot model from Arakawa Surfboards. When it's big, raw, and gnarly, from pipeline to Sunset Haleiwa, they handle anything. When there's power, that's when you're riding. got that feel to it. I know it, like I've ridden so many of these square tails. I feel like it needs a little bit of power. It feels like it'd be a little heavy or like a little solid if it's too small, the waves. I feel like it's better when it's like proper size. A couple of his workers, a couple of the boys that cut the boards down there, they asked him, they go, what, so that board make it? And I'm like, well, yeah, I mean, it was, you know, it was it was up there. Like, it made a couple of rounds, probably. And, um, yeah, obviously, I surfed well on it, but then also, you know, it wasn't going as good as the other one. So it's like, Eric always told me to, like, because he had Derek Ho and Michael Ho and, and these guys, like, even though it's so many years ago, they told him straight, and it was, he's got pretty thick skin towards it, so they understand. And I was always super loyal to him, though, because he's such a good friend and, and you know, and he's obviously such an amazing shaper, you know, especially here in Hawaii. Wade Takoro might be the least self-promotional shaper on the planet, and certainly the most underground craftsman, to regularly build boards for Kelly Slater, who rides Takoro's almost exclusively in Hawaii. From the north shore of Oahu, Wade Takoro, and the 4VC from Takoro Surfboards. Why I think it's Takoro? 
I don't know, it's kind of easy to tell, I feel like, especially with the tail, like, like or any Hawaiian shaper that's like one of the really good ones. You can tell the boards are a little different. The outlines definitely, they're kind of a longer line and a short board, I feel like. They're masters, the shapers here, so that's why. I don't know, it definitely shows. When you pick it up, you kind of feel like, oh, there, this board's really, really sharp. sketchy that way it's always like even though it's oh no that did break heavy oh this one's a good board must have happened on that wave i just bailed on it but so annoying even out here like right now there's too much backwash you do a turn you just get throttled you feel like you're gonna break your ankle or something i don't even know how it happened i think i was maybe bailing or an air off the back of the wave but that actually felt like a good board and i only got to get a little bail and do a turn on it Maybe it wasn't a good board, it broke straight away. I don't know. It looked really nice though. <laughs> oh, 